Aboriginal people talk in terms of Mother Earth being raped. Uh, you know, a very violent picture uh, of, um, you know, what development has meant. And, um, you know, what the, um, uh, the repercussions or the, or the consequences of the development has meant. Um, at first, uh, it just meant uh, pushing uh, Aboriginal people off their land. Uh, we had prior ownership of this land and Aboriginal people, we don't see ownership in terms of something that's bought and sold and now it's yours. Uh, it, ab, um, the land was always, um, we see, uh, was always, um, and, and to use my language, Arawatana in the Yatta Nungangapala. That means God, uh, Creator, Creator gave us this land. And uh, we were always meant to care for it. Um, if you remember, uh, the first two humans were meant to care uh, for the garden. They lived in a beautiful garden and they were meant to care. They were naked, didn't need to be fully clothed. Uh, I think when, um, I often think in terms of when uh, the first uh, tall ships came here to this country, they saw Aboriginal people naked. And um, um, uh, I always like to think that, it, you know, it was an Edenic style of uh, living. You know, we were, at, we, uh, were able to live off the land, uh, live in uh, unity, um, you know, and uh, with, with country. Uh, country provided everything for us. Um, we had no need, uh, uh, you know, to eat. eat the, we were sheltered, we were fed, um, and, um, you know, there was um, uh, no need to destroy anything. And, um, but um, there's been, sadly, there's been a lot of destruction over the last 200 years. Uh, on seven days, six days, God created. Uh, and on the last day, he made man. So all other things, our big brothers, big brother's son, and, uh, you know, grandfather, um, mountains and... Uh, the rocks and the boulders, they are much older creation uh, than we are. We're the younger brothers and sisters. And uh, our, I love the Canadian uh, First Nations people. They talk about, um, and, and uh, First Nations in North America, they talk about the older brother and the older sister. And uh, they talk about, uh, as a family, you know, we're part of the family of creation. We're not separate. We're not humans and all others. Aboriginal people have a relationship with the land. Uh, we see the land, um, you know, as our uh, mother. The land is our mother. And uh, the land, um, even in regards to uh, creation, uh, you know, from the face of the earth, God made man, formed him out of the clay. And, um, you know, um, so, you know, there's, there's a resonance there for us as Aboriginal people when we say the earth is our mother. We're formed out of the earth and and um, you know one day we will return back to the earth to take our place in the cycle of life they you hear the cycle of life and um, you know and uh, I think that for us um, you know um, to 
understand that the earth is our mother, there is a, a relationship there. Uh, uh, you know, it hurts us uh, when we see our mother being hurt, you know, being mined and, um, you know, historians, Aboriginal historians, uh, you know, because of the violent nature of the way in which land has been torn up and used, uh, the word that uh, most Aboriginal historians use is uh, you know, our mother being raped. It's very violent. But, you know, you can't, um, I can't imagine, you know, the uh, pain uh, that our mother uh, feels, you know, when we do that. And um, so, you know, there's, there's a, um, a call on us as, uh, you know, as uh, people of faith, uh, to care for our mother, you know, and, and to our mother and, um, you know, um, we, we need to look after Mother Earth because Mother Earth looks after us. It feeds us. It still does. We were placed in this land to be stewards and, uh, of the land. And we may not have freehold ownership or, you know, pastoral leases over large um, areas of this land. We are still the traditional owners of this country and we have a responsibility to care for it and to look after it. You know, when our voice, when people stop listening, you know, um, to us, uh, you know, First Nations peoples, when people stop listening to the First Nation voice, uh, creation's voice will still be speaking. And, and um, I've, I guess for me, uh, and I write in my book, uh, that the oldest voice in this land is creation. That um, that's God's oldest voice in this land is creation. And um, we need to hear, you know, hear what uh, Mother Nature and what creation is t telling us. I mean, I always like to think when we do take people out on country and we listen to what creation is saying, speaking. You know, anybody who says, oh, you know, I can't hear God speak anymore in this country or, you know, to me, God doesn't say anything to me. Um, just go out on country and um, if you can with a, with a First Nations person and you will hear Creator speak. Well, when the land, uh, when we are not listening to what the land is saying, uh, when creation is speaking, uh, we can't really hear um, sometimes a lot of noise gets in the way and we can't hear, you know, um, a creator speak to us. Uh, the, the important thing is that um, when I talk about uh, the land is speaking, I'm actually talking about creator is speaking to us. And um, uh, a lot of noise can get in the way and stop that from happening. Busyness of life gets in the way. Uh, development and, you know, just, you know, living gets in the way. And sometimes we have to get out of the way, go out on country uh, and have those moments of solitude and silence uh, where we just sit and listen. And, um, but when we sit and listen, what do we hear? And, um, you know, what are we, um, one of the beautiful things I do when I wake up in the morning is I have 
there are birds outside my window and they're singing. And I try and copy the, their songs because uh, that's what our people did, our old people, our elders did. Uh, they would mimic the songs of the birds and, um, you know, incorporate them into their stories. And, um, you know, those uh, stories can help us um, live in a right way and in a right relationship. Uh, not only with one another, but with country, uh, with our environment and in a right relationship with Creator.